Hello guys and welcome to part 4 of this tutorial series. On today's video we're going to be talking about multi-res and remesh. So multi-res or multi-resolution is a modifier that you can add to your uh, models. And for example, you have the default cube, you got to add modifier, go to multi-resolution right there. So you're not going to see anything until you start subdividing. And you can subdivide more, more, and more, and more. Now with that subdivision like that, you can definitely go to sculpt mode, your mode, sculpt mode, and you can start sculpting. Let's take this off here, the wireframe, and look that you can start sculpting nice. You cannot achieve that if your uh, uh, sculpt resolution is super lower. So you see it changes right here you can just change it change in the level viewport level in rendering but uh, i will advise don't go like crazy with this like probably like five at the most will be nice when you have like, for example a uh, character or something that you have already already yes kind of like retopologize or so on i'm gonna show you an example of it So let's let's say for example I have this character here and it has like a, some topology. Topology is like a, it's just pretty made in silver mesh in ZBrush. I just bring this character in there. But uh, if you can see, let's check the, the wireframe. It's pretty low. So with this, I can apply. Go to my modifiers, add modifier, and apply this uh, multi-res resolution. And I can start to divide. Look, three. So it's giving me like more and more and more every time. Let's turn this off. So now that I have more resolution, you're gonna see that I can, for example, start adding some details. Where's my pinch? Let's use this one and yeah. So you see, like even. You can add some details there. Let's see, for example, this done. You can start doing like kind of like some wrinkles there as well. Also, don't forget to like add the symmetry on this one. But you see that this is coming like way, way better for you guys. Okay, add more details to it because you have that subdivision right there which is really nice so for example if you want to oh let's say oh, i really messed up the eye i want to change it make it a little bit different the easier way to do instead of um instead of for example just grab this and change it like that that's kind of like it's gonna look a little bit weird when you do it this way. Normally, when you want to change overall shapes, just go with the sculpt resolution to one, and then you will have an easier time to to change those shapes because this way is grabbing less polygons. If you go with the sculpt and the resolution way higher with the multi rest, you're gonna grab way more polygons. So it's gonna, you know, it's gonna grab more. So it's gonna be more wonky. Say so you can just go back here. There you go. Oh, stop it right there. True. Okay, so that's something that I would probably advise you guys to do. Just to take in consideration about that. So with 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 three or four, like you guys should have like enough, enough, enough geometry to definitely create a really kind of like really nice details to it example so, and just with a really really simple base geometry like this one cool so let's now see what is remesh so remesh is another way to add topology to the to your uh, sculpt for example if um, Let's say that you want to, to kind of like create or move 
kind of like this, kind of like block out some of the shapes here. Da -da. Something like that. Let's make something bigger here. Okay, let's see. This, like that. Kind of like a weird face with the neck, the long neck. Let's see. So you're gonna see like in this part that I stretched out this um, this uh, topology. So let's check this. Warframe, look, yeah, everything is super stretched out there. Okay. So one way to kind of like get rid of that look. If I stretch out, like I'm losing, I'm losing, I'm gonna be losing details there. So I, if I want to keep everything consistent and with the same amount, that's what I use remesh. So. To add the resolution of the remesh, what you're gonna do, let's turn this off first. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press Shift R, and with Shift R, just move your mouse like or your tablet like uh, up and down, side to side. So the bigger the squares, the less resolution it's gonna have. So let's try this. Look, and then if nothing happened, you have to press Control R, and then it's gonna remesh. So you see now you lost so much resolution right here. Okay, so let's go back here. And uh, I want to, but the thing that I lost it, but everything was divided the same. So in this case here, I'm just going to press Shift R. And let's, okay, let's do it again. Let's move, 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 add more resolution right there. Perfect. And Control R, right there. Control R, and look, you have way more. Um, more resolution you see that everything is, is divided you see all these squares everything is pretty much divided almost the same so let's grab this and look how much this stretch if i got ctrl r there you go it subdivides everything like really nice there so that's the way one of the ways that i use a uh, dime topo remesh and then uh, after I do a topology and get a really nice to uh, topological of my character, like a retopo, I can go ahead with a multi-res modifier. The multi-res modifier, it's really nice to start adding like a really good details and so on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I bring you some value, please don't forget to share, subscribe, comment, like, and see you next time in this series from hero, from zero to hero in Blender Sculpting. Take care guys and have an amazing weekend. Bye.